Using a new type of device, doctors at Emory University are treating patients who suffer from a dangerous condition. It's a condition in which a blood vessel in their abdomen could rupture and kill them. Health News 2's Dr. Randy Martin is here with more on how it works and why patients can recover faster. Richard Monica, this is an aneurysm, and you've heard of aneurysms in the brain, but this is in the abdominal aorta, the big blood vessel taking blood to the body, and it's very common. Lucille Ball, Conway Twitty, and Albert Einstein all had these. Now, these aneurysms occur more commonly as we age and affect women, I'm sorry, affect men more than women. There are actually weaknesses in the wall of the blood vessel, which under the effects of blood pressure can expand and rupture. Uh, but this new device and the new technique to use it, it may be effective in treating them very early. 86-year-old Bill Standard is getting ready to undergo a type of operation that may have been impossible years ago. He has an abdominal aortic aneurysm, an enlargement of the major artery in his abdomen, which could rupture at any time. I uh, give a check on it once a year, and now it's got to the size that the they're afraid it will rupture. And if you do, you, you, you live about two or three minutes and you're gone. It used to require major surgery, but Bill is undergoing a less involved procedure. Doctors thread a catheter from the arteries in the groin area to the side of Bill's aneurysm. Then a tiny graft is carefully positioned inside the aneurysm to reinforce the walls and relieve the pressure. The graft stays inside the blood vessel, creating a passageway for blood to flow away from the aneurysm, reducing the risk of rupture. The aneurysm actually shrinks, and in some cases almost completely disappears because of the elimination of that pressure effect. The graft is called the excluder. It has tiny hooks that hang onto the wall of the aorta and is deployed almost like a parachute. This strip, which is up the outside of the graft, actually forms a tube which is wrapped around this device, and that's really around the catheter. It has a pull string in it, and when we pull the string, it allows this to pop out inside the angles, and it pops out almost instantaneously. And the new device can be tailored out. to help each patient, and it's smaller and more flexible than older devices. The principal advantage to this is that it allows us to treat patients who, frankly, are much sicker and couldn't tolerate an open abdominal operation. Perhaps the greatest benefit is the speed at which they get back to normal. They get back to normal really within a matter of seven to ten days. And faster recovery time? Sure yeah. sounds good to Bill. It's just great to know that we have things like that to keep us young folks here. Now, Bill is doing super, we, we hear. Now, while this procedure appears very promising, the long-term outcome for the graft is still under investigation. Most people with abdominal aneurysms don't have any symptoms, or they can have pain in the stomach which radiates through the back. Your doctor can detect this on a physical exam or with a common procedure like an ultrasound. But this is, a, you know, this little device which actually looks like legs. These would be the arteries going to the to your legs, and this is the where the uh, device is put in the aorta. is fantastic. I mean, this just basically creates a new passageway and takes a life-threatening situation away. I feel it. Yeah, sure. I mean, it looks like you know, it looks like something you'd made in in class, doesn't Plastic it? Plastic feeling. It's, well, it's Gore-Tex with these little hooks, but I mean, it's just it's fantastic to us because the surgery was really major surgery. Okay. Great advances. Thank I you, did. Randy. Thank you. More than sixty million Americans have.